I've given a name to my pain, and it is Batwoman. Not really, but they just dropped a new teaser that I think a lot of people will be buzzing about, perhaps in the negative way. Maybe it'll just get under your skin and make you go, Argh! who knows? But let's check it out. Batwoman! Batwoman! Now, I did see her in the Elseworld CW crossover event, and I felt like it was okay. It wasn't anything exceptional. I mean, I tell you this straight up. Ruby Rose is not a phenomenal actress. She's like the Chuck Norris level of acting. She just delivers the line in a deadpan kind of way where it doesn't have a whole lot of feeling or emotion or a weight behind it. But she may evolve. Maybe after this. <laughs> but something happened when the first trailer dropped for the Batwoman TV series. And I was late to it. I didn't understand all the negativity behind it. But I guess a lot of people got on board the hate train for it. And they didn't like all of the anti-men stuff that they were apparently, you know, shouting in your face while watching it. So I can understand that, yeah. You know, today, a lot of these uh, movies and TV shows are trumpeting these heroic crusades for, like, SJWs. And, and I can understand that that can rub you the wrong way. For me, it's kind of like, yeah, you don't want to see a whole bunch of that political stuff in your entertainment. I get that. I understand that. You don't have to have, like, this this uplifting message all the time. Just make a good story. Batwoman? It's going to be a tricky pro property, for sure. They're going to have an uphill battle. With that being said, they released a small teaser today, and I do want to take a look at it, and then I'll digress and talk a little bit more about this whole little hate kind of train that everybody's got on. on. And you may not like what I'm going to say after that, but uh, let's just take a look at the trailer first, and then I'll truly let you know. I wouldn't do that if I were you. It only encourages them. <sighs> She's got the look. She photographs well. You have to say that. Here I come! <laughs> oh, whew. okay, well... You know what? That wasn't that offensive. I don't see too much in there that a lot a lot of people could say, "Ooh, that sucks." Now I can sense it. I can feel it just uh, boiling up underneath people's skins. But as I said before, okay, she doesn't look like she can deliver lines, and she photographs well. Here's what I mean by her not being able to deliver lines that well. A good actor should be able to convey what they're feeling in their lines by you just hearing it. And why do I say that? Because just think about animation. Think about cartoons and stuff. A lot of the good voice actors are able to convey the emotion with their voice and their tones. So when you give somebody the ability to see their face as well, that's an extra little thing that they can use to convey their emotions. So if they're giving a deadpan performance with some line delivery, it's just, it doesn't translate well. And that's where I feel Ruby Rose is, that her emotions are not translating. She's not feeling the lines. She's giving the lines, but she's not feeling them. You don't get the impression... She's there as a character in that moment, and the camera's just on her. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Now, to the part that a lot of you people won't like, this is it. I see all of the all these anti-videos of her and, you know, all the feminine feminist bashing stuff. And I, 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 I'm okay. I understand it. I get it. You don't like to see it. But there's this. There's these videos out there that are ranking high right now because they're just cashing in. They're they're using your hate, their their your anger to fuel their message and their and their views. 
here's the drawback. Here's the hypocrisy to it. And I'm, I'm guilty of this myself because now I am engaging in it. You heard it first right here. I'm guilty of it now too. When somebody says they don't like to have SJW propaganda in their video and they do not like to hear all of this political stuff, but then they go online and make a video of them ranting on it and hating on it and screaming at the top of their lungs. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Well, as soon as they do that, they're making a video for entertainment and you're watching that video for entertainment, but you're also watching a video about SJW stuff and political stuff for entertainment. So they're in their arguments, they're being a little bit hypocritical. And for that reason, that's why I never really wanted to make a huge Batwoman trailer reaction. I guess it's just something that I, I feel like I don't want to touch because as soon as you look down in some of the comments of these videos, it gets a little, it gets murky and it, and it deals with emotions that I try to get a, I, I just don't want to involved in my life. I don't want to feel like that all the time. So I know it feels like a release. It feels like it feels good to let that out in some avenue. But for me, I would rather not engage it at all and just put it there on the side. Kind of like, oh, yeah, people don't like that. I can engage in it. I can make myself all riled up, but I'd rather not. As far as Batwoman goes in this teaser, times are changing. It's okay. It's, it's just a small little clip. I don't see why it should have, you know, 10,000 dislikes or anything like that, like the trailer did. But I want to know your guys' thoughts on all of this stuff. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, let's talk about it, hopefully, in a civil way. And if you feel like you just want to trash the clip, by all means, go ahead. Just try to uh, not use any harsh language. <laughs> What's this? Oh, YouTube is uh, recommending a video of mine for you. And you can see my latest one just right here. And there is the little subscribe bubble. 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 <laughs> That's it. My name is James and you're watching Mirror Domain.